Oh look, another box. How lovely is that? Now we're back over here near the entrance to the underground warehouses. And uh, hopefully we're gonna be, be making some progress today. And we'll go this way. Oh yeah, another box, awesome. Not the right button. It's like, I'm, I'm pretty sure this place was called the underground warehouses, but. Ooh, I don't know. Cursed ring. That doesn't sound like it's gonna do much good. Actually, that's pretty nice. But, the luck decreases by quite a bit. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see how much of a difference it actually makes, and then we'll judge from there. Of course, that's after we push the boxes out of the way. Right, 157 against the white, and the wristband it is 136. Yeah. Not worth it in my book. That bastard. Alright, MP, what are we doing? MP, what are we doing? Yeah. Uh, whatever. Stuff. Alright, so we found some items in there. Really, it's gonna... This place is gonna be full of boxes. And I already used my warehouse worker episode name. Damn it. Sky, we're moving boxes. Lots and lots of, lots and lots of boxes. This would be the perfect time to use that as an episode name, right? No, not quite so much. This could have been a lot better, but I can always call this episode just Warehouses, the Underground Warehouses, whatever the hell this area is actually called, because I don't remember. Go Holy Water. I'll just continue to dodge lightning. Gold armor. Hmm. That sounds like it would be better than bronze armor. Although I think gold is actually softer than bronze, but whatever. An upgrade's an upgrade. One of these walls is going to have a secret passage thing in it. Can't climb down that ladder, unfortunately. How terrible is that? <laughs> no, damn it. Stop. There we go. Kill the table. And resume our search for a secret spot. Alright, nothing. One of these will have one, damn it. My luck is going to be the case that there is, in fact, a secret spot. I'm just going to manage to miss it. Maybe it's in the form of a false wall in the back of the save point. Nope. Nope. Didn't really expect that, to be honest, but eh. What the hell, I tried. That is what is important. Not getting hit by a ton of stuff is also important, generally speaking. I am getting assaulted by chairs. Try this again. Save the game. Alright, game saved. We're full health. Moving on. Alright, we got hit by the Thunder Armor. That's not too bad. Let's get out of the room. Alright. And now I'm poisoned. I have now stopped caring. And we have a puzzle to solve. Alright, if we break that. I don't want to break that. Let's push this off. 
drop down after it, break this, push this over, and then break the other one and push the top box down. In theory, I don't need to push that over all the way, but whatever. Not taking any chances. Did I get it? I got it. Alright. Probably a secret spot up there. Whatever. Not worrying about it anymore. I'm beyond worrying about that particular one. You know what? I see the heart thing. I may as well get it. Or not. Or not. Moving on. Yet again. More block puzzles. It appears we're, we have another block. Words. It appears we have another block puzzle. <laughs> uh, yeah, Fox Hunter, dude, if you could not do that, that would be awesome. Not what I'm supposed to do. Try this again. Take that. And there, yeah, there's still no secret spot on that wall. Not only is the orange just delicious, it is also known as a potion which heals health. Which is awesome. Yeah, go orange juice. Finally! I knew I'd find one eventually. Definitely not working. There we go. Oh, seriously? I know I tend to joke that I'm horrible at games. The reality is, times like these, I really am horrible at the game. Like, not even as like a half-joking kind of thing. I was just kind of sad and pathetic. Oh, holy armor. Why not? Holy water still works, so it can't be too holy. They sure as hell do hurt. Ah, oh, great. Where is he? Okay. Oh. Alright. Run away. Almost dead. If I can get to a save point, great. Ooh, almost hit the feather. Crap, 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 crap. You know what? I have a feeling that's a save point right there, so I'm gonna use actually all three potions just to be on the safe side, because I have a feeling if I get hit, it's gonna do more than 20 damage. This is not a save point. And I got mauled by a grizzly bear. A grizzly zombie monster thing. Oh, that was not a save point. Oh, what else is new? I'm getting hit by things. Still getting hit by things. Alright, push one down. 
break it. I'll meet you guys back where we just were. Hey, Serpent Card. All right. Yay for new stuff. Good checking that out. Oh, we can do it now. Why not? Where was it? Serpent. All right, let's see what we start getting here. All right, so for... I'm actually going to go ahead and write the stats down, because... Terrible memory and all. 345, 420, 340, 350. Okay, let's see what happens after I activate it. I have some sort of ice shield barrier. Right, and we found meat. Seems a little bit better than the wisp thing. It's a little more protective, it spins faster. And apparently... Either does not drain or drains extremely slowly. Alright, so that's pretty good. About Venus. Venus and the Serpent Card. Alright, this is a stat boost. 105 defense, not shabby. Not too shabby. Alright, next card. Mercury Serpent. Ice Whip. Does it freeze things? Mm, sadly, no. Oh, it definitely feels like it swings a lot faster. And it did freeze things, so yeah, that's good. But my strength is lowered by quite a good amount. But Diana and the Serpent. Shoot ice. Kind of. Let's see how well this works with the Poltergeist. Yeah, I guess that could be sort of useful at some point or another. Ow. Alright. So I'm going to go with the Ice Shield for a while. Venus was at the stat boost. That was the stat boost. Let's get four per time. Jupiter. All right, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Get rid of that notepad. So it's out of my way. So not only am I more shielded from damage, but I can do damage at roughly the same rate. It works for me. There we go, hey, and we leveled up. Don't know how I managed that this time, given that I've killed less. And why am I not able to get up there now? Like, seriously though, why can't I get up there all of a sudden? Oh, that was... Okay, that was from across the area. Let's try this. No, that's not it either. Okay, how the hell did I do this last time? I really feel this should be working. No? Yeah, really. How did I... Do I seriously need to damage boost myself up there? But I think that's how I did last time. Hmm. One other thing I can think of. I think I tried this right and it didn't work, but whatever, I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, that didn't work. Alright, so at the moment, I cannot actually get that again. Where's that holy armor? Holy armors. I'm just gonna ignore them, run right past. That's definitely not a save point. Now we're aware of that fact. We are, however, coming up on what looks like it might be a complicated block puzzle. Alright, push you all the way over there. I can... I don't want to do that. Though it appears I can push blocks on top of other blocks. 
what is that thing? It looks very out of place. Let's, let's reset the room. How about that? Apparently I can only push from the other side. Push this all the way to the side. Da -da -da -da. Load this before I finish this up, however. Actually, I might have already screwed this up. I might be able to salvage this though. I don't believe I can, but whatever, I shall try. Alright, that worked. Surprisingly. Big open space, it's going to have some sort of gargoyle. Don't want anything to do with that at the moment. Although apparently I don't have much choice because there's not anything to do over here. Let's get our ice shield going. Ah, secret spot. MP max, that does not help with my low health, health situation. Oh, hello. Alright, boss is coming up here shortly. Alright, let's go get our ass kicked for the, to, to end the episode. Heal up because I'm like dying again. At this point, I may as well just make a save state after I save so that when I walk out and take a ton of damage from really absolutely nothing, that I save a little bit of time. So, now who wants to watch me walking back to the thing repeatedly? All right, here we go. Some sort of boss. It's death. Well, the little ice shield seems to deal with the sickles quite well. Besides, well, those are sickles. They're not long-armed or handled. I dodge the whatever those were and then walk into it. Go, mate. I do like, no damage to him whatsoever. Alright, how about the good old Will-O-Wisp? Or, no, what do I always call these? Is the Will-O-Wisp? Fae Fires, that's what I call these. How do they do? Still, 15. Here's 5, and yeah. How about the good old immune? That's not the right one. Let's try that again. It's only do one damage, but it definitely blocks everything. And the increased range allows me to hit him without actually having to jump, which is nice. Unless I do that, which is not quite as nice. Those seem to always be in the same pattern. That's good to know. Maybe not. I just have to move slightly. Is the middle one always aimed at me? I think the middle one is always aimed directly at me. All 
there. It looks like the middle one's always aimed directly at me, so as long as I move slightly, I can avoid it. Yeah, didn't give me that time. Got you figured out. So what will never be a phase two. And of course there's that whole happening back at the save point if I do manage to kill him. Yeah, this was too easy. Phase two incoming. It's the grim crawly bug guy. Great. Uh, what the hell's going on? Why is gravity increased? What is he doing now? Oh, uh, okay. Alright, well, there you have it. Death and Death 2.0. Well, next time we'll be kicking his ass. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.